okay the bus is all packed up and we're ready to go continuing on our mission to destinations yet unknown if you're looking for some crazy Okay, here we go. Out of suburbia and into the great unknown wilderness of a state we have not been to yet. Well, I have. No, in the bus, <laughs> I mean, to right. where we can put a new state on our uh, magnet patch up there. Yeah, that's actually cool. I like that part. Right? stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are what makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of? all right we're going to do a dump and fill here utility day that's right <laughs> he said get your hoses set up first then pay because the thing stays on lock for one minute once you get it open, it stays open. But if you don't, if you don't, if you pay for it and then get your stuff head set up, it'll be locked. <laughs> well, there's two water heads there. Maybe that's the potable. It doesn't say no. Right here, it says dump station, not potable water. All right. There's a huge debate on whether this word is pronounced potable or potable. And some people think that common sense would say, oh, it's probably potable because you put water in a pot to boil it or something like that. That is not the truth. You just have to know your etymology. The word potable comes from the Latin word potare, which means to drink, basically. I think it means watering, literally. Like think of like, you know, animals out the watering hole watering means drinking and that's what potare means and that's where the word potable comes from so i hope this helps you win your argument of how to pronounce this word correctly this is the first time in a year and a half on the road that we have encountered a credit card pay station at the dump station I don't think we ever showed people that we installed these water spray things, did we? Right? I don't think we did. Yeah. These are cool. These are something I added onto the tank. And what they do is they have this uh, nozzle that goes in the sink and it spins and sprays in every direction. Sprays water. Clean, sprays clear clean water. water. Yeah. And so that we clean out our tanks. Any weird scale that's developing there or anything like that gets uh, washed right out of it. So we just hook that up and turn it on. They get dumped simultaneously, but they have to be sprayed individually, obviously. Okay, utilities complete. Back to our parking lot for the night. <laughs> It's nice just to do a short trips, man. Those long day trips are just too much. Man. They're miserable. Nobody has fun, especially like when we were both driving separately and driving eight hours a day, like it's miserable. Yeah. Well, it's like 1300 miles to where we're going. And if we did hundred mile days, like 13 days. That's more than an, an hour though. <laughs> Big wide turn. And this is the importance of wide turns. Could have cut it shorter than that. I don't like to. I like to take, if I can take a big giant wide turn, I take a big one. Take up two lanes, I don't care. That's, the, that's how you should drive your bus. You shouldn't be, you shouldn't try to get as close as you can to the corner. Finding it. Then you got a tow vehicle on the back. And even though the tow vehicle almost follows in the footsteps of the 
uh, rear tires, it still comes in just a little bit. So you gotta be aware of that. The best advice I can give to people for driving a bus is the bus is gonna pivot on the back wheels. So you wanna like pivot your bus around things. So get your back wheels out at least even with the obstacle that you're trying to go around and then start your turn. And that way you're, you don't, uh, uh, the side of the bus won't impact anything. And that's good advice. <laughs> Yeah. There's a perfect example of just going wide as you can. Just to try to make this cut. There we go. Not going to hit the curve. Where's the car? The car is clear. Very good. Oh, are we going to fit between these two cars? Well, I hope so, because that's where we're parking. There we are. Like a pro. Like a like virgin. A, like a practiced person. <laughs> <laughs> like experienced driver, I guess. Well, here we are in downtown, where are we? Auburn. Auburn, California. Going for a little walk in town here because we got here. And the sun's still up, so we're just chillaxing and going for a little walk to see what's down here. Well, just like every city you've been to there's a whole bunch of cars and noise everywhere it wasn't that great of a walk but it felt good to get out of the bus right, after walking yeah that was kind of nice yeah so we just walked around the block went to goodwill looking for plates for the mosaic and did not find any you guys i've had a very difficult time finding any blue plates for the rest of the ocean scene i don't know what i'm gonna do keep looking i guess that's it just gonna have to hit every goodwill in America. Exactly. Woohoo! Well, here's the elevation profile for today. We are here. And we have to climb 4,000 feet, and that's about 30 miles. So that's a lot. So we actually unhooked the car this morning so that we don't have to uh, push the bus so hard to do this because this is gonna be a struggle for any bus. And uh, we're climbing over Donner Pass right now. Pretty exciting. We stayed the night in Auburn, California last night. And it's just beautiful here, even though we're just like at a truck stop or a rest stop on the side of the road. We're driving separate today because Mike is super stressed out about going through Donner Pass. He's been uber grumpy all morning so it's probably a good thing I'm getting some time to myself in the car at this point. Well welcome to one of the ski towns in California. We're in the uh, Lake Tahoe area of the uh, Sierra Nevadas here. A lot of snow accumulation up here and a lot of people with skis and snowboards passing us on the road. Let's just talk about the fuel prices right now, shall we? This one hurts. $5.99. $5.99 a gallon for diesel. And we are in, uh, what is it? Dutch something, Dutch Flats, California. Like, we gotta get out of California. California hates us. The sign said Dutch Pass. The next gas station we go to is $3.84 a gallon. Uh, in Nevada. In Nevada, yeah. From $5.99. This is literally how he chose this route from where we were at we in Hollister. It's easier route that didn't have a pass. But he was like, whoa, but on the other side of this pass, the gas is really cheap. Let's go this way. Yeah, like the other way would have been twice as much. We would have had to fill up twice more. Gas has gone up almost 50 cents a gallon since we got to California. And, uh, so the quickest way out of California is over Donner Pass from where we were at. And that's the way we're going to get the hell out of this state because they're lost their mind here. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. There's still snow on the side of the road here. What elevation are we at right now? 4,500. Wow, it's not that high for there to still be snow. Oh, wait a minute. It's only March, though. It's not that late in the year. I was thinking it was later in the year. <laughs> it's kind of beautiful here.
We had to touch the snow wire here. Got to. And get snaps. Too bad we missed that stop where it had like the little walkways with railways and I stuff. Know. That would have been cool to walk down by the water. Or a little bit higher up away from the water's edge up here. It's pretty here, man. It's beautiful. Chilly, but it's beautiful. Okay, well since this one isn't a walk down area, it's a little treacherous, you guys. I guess we'll call this quits and get back on the road. Again. We were just driving down out of the mountains and then all of a sudden everything changed. All the foliage completely changed to desert. That's how you know we're in Nevada now. So this guy stops us to talk about our bus and then like a sheriff pulls up and then another one pulls up and then they both leave and then another sheriff pulls up and another sheriff. We're meeting all the law enforcement officers in this entire town right here in this parking lot <laughs> while we're just parked here taking a break <laughs> so guess what time it is now time to put another magnet in our map i think i might have to move this a little bit i don't know i haven't decided yet we are in nevada look at that you guys our whole lower southwestern states we really wanted to go all the way up to Northern California and then into Oregon and Washington and across Idaho into Montana, down into Wyoming and do a bunch of sightseeing along the way. But then we realized it wasn't the right time of year for that. March is too early to go up into the Northern states. So we're just heading across the desert right now to our next mountainous destination. Desert. Yeah, it's mountainous, but it's definitely desert. That's our route profile. This is what we've been driving over. No, that's where we're going to drive. Over. Oh, this is where we're headed next? Yeah. It looked pretty bad where we've been through, too. Mm-hmm. But we've been up over 10,000 feet on this journey. We're going to be climbing up. God, it looks over 11,000 feet. Crazy, crazy. We must be out of our minds. Mm-hmm, we are. How's that smoked pork sandwich, though? Amazing. Smoker was not a bad idea. We still have enough for like 40, sa 40 sandwiches. I know. 40 little sammies. We love leftovers on travel days, though. It's so great to just be able to pull over and go grab something out of your own refrigerator. Totally. And we didn't spend that much on gas. Good. 170 to fill this thing up all the way to the top. Oh, that's not bad. No. So we might be able to afford to reach our destination after all. Right. Maybe. Keep Hopefully. our fingers crossed. We just went to another thrift store in this town, whatever town we're in. What town are we in? Gardnerville. Gardnerville, Nevada. Beautiful here. Yeah, it is really pretty with these scenic snow-capped mountains in the background view. But there were no blue plates at this thrift store. We've been going to a thrift store in every town we go to, and I'm not finding the plates I need to finish my mosaic. I'm starting to get a little bit worried, you guys. But we're gonna head to Reno regardless. Maybe we'll find some more thrift stores there. Woohoo! It's a gamble. What do you think? Ha ha ha. You are hilarious. So much more fun when we get to ride together. Yeah, that, that drive up and out, out of Reno or out of uh, to, up to Tahoe and down was just a bit much for this uh, towing arrangement. Yeah, yeah, we didn't really know how it would do towing through that. Oh, and by the way, 
the the new um, road profile doesn't look as bad as Mike thought when we showed you on the camera, right? No, it didn't. That was uh, the wrong route it was showing. So when he put in the correct way we wanted to go, it gave a much better driving profile. Yeah, here. There. That's better? The other one went up over 10,000 feet. So it's significantly better. It doesn't look that much better. Oh, we're starting to see the casinos already. Definitely in Nevada. Yeah. So this was really interesting. Um, I looked up on Gas Buddy, and if you're not using Gas Buddy and you travel a lot, man, change that. It's an app on your phone. But uh, I, I searched in Nevada for a place to get gas, and every place was like $4.69, $4.89, $4.99, $5, whatever. And there's this one place stood out. It was $3.84. I'm like, this has got to be crazy. Like, and I look at it, and it was like posted 19 hours ago. Like, Whoa. So. We decided, we went out of our way about 10 miles to get this gas price. And we get there, and one of the employees comes out and is looking at the bus, and he's all excited. And one of the guys standing by him said something about, man, I can't believe how low our gas prices are. And he said, yeah, I called corporate because I was concerned. I didn't know if they knew. And they were like, yep, that's the price we want. So it was 384. Everywhere else around here is a dollar ten more a gallon for gas, for diesel. I mean it was outrageous. So that was a good find for us. dumped their nonsense but it's pretty nice. It's a little dirty because of all the dirt. And dirt. <laughs> let's take the drone up. Okay let's do it. Did you hear that Mama Cinta? We're gonna take the drone up. You want to? You want to see what's out there? You do? You want to go out and fly the drone? Let's see how long it takes her to roll in the dirt. Come on, Mama. Oh, dirt, your favorite. You like it because there's no people and no dogs? You can do some dirt yoga? Hmm? Yep, boom. <laughs> Three steps. <laughs> you are roly poly, Mama Cinta. <laughs> you needed a good roll real bad. Real bad, huh, Mama? She needed it real bad. Take off. She didn't even get scared. Get yelled at. And so you don't you know, fall asleep on the road. That too. <laughs> All the things. Let's do this. Alright, goodbye, barren, dirty spot in Nevada. Barren wasteland. Yeah, what town? What area of Nevada? Lovelock. But we loved that we had a free place to stay the night where we were completely unbothered. Yeah, that was nice. I slept really good. I stayed up late, but I slept really good. You know, sometimes like, sometimes these little spots off the road provide total privacy 
pretty darn quiet. Didn't hear the road at all last night, even though we were probably 300 yards away from it at the most. <clears throat> and uh, just this big, open, beautiful sky landscape. And since we're in Nevada, there's going to be tons of wide open spaces to park like this. And it's so important because we're in such a long bus, it's hard to find a nice, quiet, private place for a big old vehicle. But when you're in these uh, barren states, there's plenty of places to park. It's, right. it's like a relief. There's, it, it lifts such a burden of stress off of you, knowing that it's going to be easy to find a place. Yeah, 100%. The other thing is I, I used to stress about driving and I don't stress about driving nearly as much as I used to. I know in one of our last videos I talked about the anxieties, but like now that we've been doing it for a while, the, the anxieties have definitely like are a lot less. US 95 Alt North. And uh, so now travel days are kind of cool because you know, especially when you're going on a going on a, like a road or summer or highway you've never been on before. And now you're seeing the United States or wherever you are, you know, for the first time. And that's exciting, you know, like just seeing this beautiful landscape out here, even though Northern Nevada doesn't have a whole lot to offer. The website, the Nevada website would suggest differently, but I'm telling you, there's not much out here. <laughs> um, this is a, a very, very uh, beautiful landscape, to be honest with you. It is it's very pretty to look at. And with all these snow-capped peaks coming through here in the wintertime, um, I actually don't regret coming through here in the wintertime. It's beautiful. Okay, where is it? This little courthouse is so cute, though. Yeah, right on Central right. Avenue. Oh my god, this is so cute. Yeah, we can park right here. Perfect. Are you ready? I am ready. Okay, oh, it's chilly out here. It is very chilly. Look at my teeth cold. So I actually was looking up this place right here. And this courthouse was designed by the chief architect for Nevada. Um, I want to say in the early 1900s. We can see it, we can see it. Oh my gosh, there's so many locks. Look at that big lion lock. I How know, cool super is that? cool. There's a bunch of all of these. The whole thing is just so neat. They did a great job with this. The little gazebo. It has a description over here. Welcome to Love Lock, where friends, family, and lovers come to forever lock their love. Wish we had a lock. Right. We have to go get a lock now. Yeah, we came unprepared. Well, we didn't know. We didn't know until the last second, which is crazy because Mike has been looking up all kinds of stuff about Nevada and where to go and what to do. And this was never discovered until we got here. Yeah, road trippers didn't really cover it. Like of all the things, road trippers, get your act together. Because <laughs> this is cool. Yeah. I'll bet there's some locks right there at that little grocery store. See, they're locked onto chain inside there. But then there's just so many locks locked onto each other, too. Yeah. All right, let's go check at the grocery store. Or whatever that, looks or like whatever that little store is. Okay, we got the scoop. The lady at the grocery store told us to head to a store called Temptations. Is this it? This is it. Six and eight. It looks like a little. For a lock. Yeah, they told us at the grocery store you would have the locks here. Oh, that's where the heart ones are. Cute. Right. Cute. How much are they? I don't know. How much are these? They're 20. I want tax of 21.42. Okay, thank you. We do have the keys over here. 
Oh, that oh, makes sense now. Gotcha. Gotcha. That's so cute that it actually takes a key. We're checking all our options. Yeah. Ta-da. Three dollars and sixty cent lock. Oh yeah, our love is worth three dollars and sixty cents. That's right. Not twenty dollars. I would have paid twenty dollars, but I don't love you that much. I know we have dollar store love. Yep. White trash in it. White trash. And I might add, we got the last dollar store lock. <laughs> we were not the first people with this idea. No way. They have the tiny foods. Dang it, they have my favorite quarter machine and I don't have my quarters with me. It's the tiny foods. We're going back to the bus. Look at that, that's love. He made it all by himself. But guess what I got? Oh, hamburger, sandwich, another hamburger. Where's the rest of them? Carrie is oh, a sucker for the- uh, French fries. For those little- uh, A soda. machines. And more french fries. Is that all I got? Yeah, that's all I got. Nice. The only ones I didn't get were the hot dog and the ice cream. But these are pretty cool. I'm a sucker for miniatures. Okay, we're back at the Love Lock Love Locks. Now we have to decide where to put it. That's right. Look around for the perfect bussy spot. Hmm. Let's see. Right here. Sure. Here it is. This oh, there we go. The Bussy McBus face lock. If That's you guys, so cool. If you guys come here and you find this. Take a picture of yourself like this. Selfie. And then post, send it to us and we'll send you a sticker. Got it. It's <laughs> a good one. Okay. Our work is done here. That is awesome. Time to be moseying along. On our way deeper into Nevada. The state we thought we'd never reach, yet here we are. I know. Unexpectedly. How come the sky? I gotta say, it was pretty scary coming up over uh, up over Donner Pass like area. On uh, what were we on? Why does the that road we were oh, on? Whatever that road was, we went over. We on. survived Donner Pass without being eaten. Tahoe. It really makes me wonder. 